removing the colon for a cancer or for a problem in your colon is called a colectomy. You can have several combinations of that term. You can have a right colon resection or a left colon resection or a total colectomy, which means you remove the entire colon and hook the small bowel to the top of the rectum. You can also have the rectum removed, which is called a low anterior resection of the rectum, and then the bowel can be hooked back together deep in the pelvis. You can also have an abdominal perineal resection where the entire rectum and the sphincter muscles are removed, and this requires that a ostomy be placed. It would be called a colostomy because the colon is coming up to the abdominal wall and that empties into a bag. There are procedures that we do called laparoscopy, which is introducing small tubes into the abdomen and through those tubes placing small, long instruments that allow us to do the same operation that we would do open. There are instruments that we use with a robot guiding the instrument while the surgeon sits at a console and we call that a robotic assisted uh, minimally invasive approach to whatever operation we're doing. Most colorectal surgery is done laparoscopically or open, but now we are starting to use robotic surgery in the pelvis to remove portions of the rectum or portions of the uh, deep part of the colon. Inflammatory bowel disease is also a uh, problem that arises in patients then it can be scattered either in throughout the small intestine in the colon or it can be confined in the colon. In patients who have Crohn's disease, it can be anywhere from the mouth to the anus. Uh, in patients who have ulcerative colitis, this is confined just to the lining of the colon. Diverticulitis is a, is a disease which involves the sigmoid colon uh, most frequently and results in about 15 percent of cases uh, in a perforation of the small uh, outpouchings on the colon that we call diverticula, uh, hence the word diverticulitis where we have inflammation around the diverticulum and that's called diverticulitis. That can cause pain, left-sided pain, fever, narrowing of the colon, abscess formation within the abdomen along the side of the colon, and it requires an operation to remove the portion of the colon called the sigmoid colon. Once again, this can be done either through an open operation or through a laparoscope. Patients who have uh, cancer can have cancer anywhere throughout the colon or the rectum. Uh, cancer sometimes involves the small intestine uh, cancer can involve the pancreas and the liver, and colon cancer itself can spread to the liver or to the lungs. So we have devised operations which take out the primary site of the tumor in the colon, and then operations which can remove the tumor from the liver or the lungs. And then we've also got chemotherapy routines that treat the disease after it's been removed completely uh, so that the chance for cure uh, goes back to a, a high level uh, when you combine chemotherapy and surgery. Rectal cancer, uh, which is down in the pelvis in the last nine inches of the uh, intestine right above the anal canal, uh, is a um, problem that requires combination of chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery in different amounts. And so rectal cancer is becoming much more like breast cancer in that we are using selective treatment programs. An early small rectal cancer can be removed through the anal canal and a an opening created in the wall of the rectum and then sewn shut and the tumor passed off to the pathologist and that cures that small cancer. Much like doing a 
partial mastectomy or a lumpectomy for breast cancer. If there are lymph nodes that are obviously involved on pre-op staging using the magnetic resonance imaging or ultrasound, then there would be more treatment needed along the lines of radiation and chemotherapy and a large operation to remove the entire rectum and hopefully hook the colon back to the top of the anal canal. So you can see that there's a spectrum of treatments that are available for patients with rectal cancer. Hopefully the number of times that we have to take out the entire rectum in the anus and construct a colostomy is uh, getting smaller and smaller every year that we do research and learn more about this disease.